Hi friends! Welcome to Get Your Play Online. This is Arts and Crafts with Lindy and I am so excited to be showing you how to make these really cool popsicle stick puzzles. So what we're going to need to make these, which are such a fun way to celebrate summer because who doesn't love to eat watermelon in the summertime? It's so juicy and refreshing and I just love it in the summer. So I thought it would be a really fun thing to make a puzzle out of. So what we're going to need is the popsicle sticks, of course. So I got these from the dollar store, but you could also, it would be a lot of fun to eat popsicles and save the sticks. So you could do that too. Um, so we are going to have our popsicle sticks. And mine are a little bit bigger than regular popsicle sticks. Um, so if yours are smaller, that's totally fine. You can still make our really cool puzzle. And then we're going to need, we're going to be doing finger painting today, so we're going to need some paint. So the main colors that we'll need, I've got a little pack like this, and mine actually aren't even finger paint. So if you have special finger paints, that's perfect, but you can also use just regular um, paint, and you can still just dip your finger into it to paint. Um, so the main colors that we're going to be using today are either um, pink or red for the main part of the watermelon, part right here and then we're going to need green for the rind this part that green part that we don't like to eat because it's gross and then we're going to need black for our watermelon seeds and then at the end we can um, decorate the rest any of the other parts that are plain that don't have any paint on them we can decorate it however we want so if there is any other colors that you would like to decorate your puzzle with you could grab those too um, if you only have the black and green and red then that's fine we can make um, we can make grass with it or use your imagination for anything else and also if you wanted to use a paintbrush instead of finger painting you could do that so if you want to grab a paintbrush you could also get that for your supplies. I love to finger paint because I think it's so fun to feel the paint and use your fingers. Um, so I'm gonna be doing finger painting, but if you want a paintbrush, you can do that. And also, if you don't have any paint, you could use just markers. Markers work perfectly well also. And then we are going to need some masking tape. Looks like this. And that's gonna be to hold our puzzle together while we're painting it. And we are going to need a pen and then I like to put my paint on a uh, paper plate like this just to keep it all in one spot so if you want to use that for your paper plate or if you have a special palette for your paint you could also grab that and last thing that we're gonna need is some paper towels so that we can wipe our fingers when we're done with one color while we're finger painting okay so it's time to get started I'm super excited let's Go ahead and count out six puzzle pieces, which are our popsicle sticks. So let's count out six. Ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, and last one. And if you have the smaller popsicle sticks, you could even count out a few more if you wanted to make your puzzle bigger. So maybe you want to do eight popsicle sticks for your puzzle. So if there's any extra pieces you want to add, you can go ahead and count those out now. And I'm going to show you how we're going to put it into our puzzle shape. So let's go ahead and take our puzzle pieces, our popsicle sticks, and I want you to line them up so that they're up and down like this. So instead of being this way, so it looks like it's lying on a bed, it looks like it's standing up and down. We're gonna put it flat on the table like that. So see how they're up and down, not side to side. So all of our pieces, let's make sure they're up and down just like this. And then we are going to go ahead and push our popsicle sticks together so that the sides are smushed and touching. So smush, and let's do our third one, smush. And we're gonna try to have the edges at the top all line up. So instead of having one way up there, 
See how it's not a straight line? We're going to try to make those tops be as close to a straight line as we can. Fourth puzzle piece. Fifth puzzle piece. And six puzzle pieces. So now we have made, what shape does that remind you of? Is it a circle? No. Is it a square? Great, if yours looks like a square, that's perfect. Next, what we're going to be doing is because if we started painting right now, then some of the popsicle pieces might get pushed apart again. And we want them to stay in that nice little square shape that we just made. So what we're gonna be doing to keep them in that shape for now is using our handy dandy masking tape. Now this part can be a little bit tricky. So if you wanna get some help from a parent or an older brother or sister, that would be perfect. That way you can help and they can make sure that your puzzle pieces stay nice and together. And then the rest of the activity you should be able to do all by yourself. So if you wanna go grab some help right now, that would be great. All right. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is, and I'll show you on my example that I made earlier, it was so much fun to make, is on the back here, you see how I have this tape and it's going across all of the puzzle pieces. So that way, if I move it, it's still stuck together. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're going to be putting the tape across the pieces. And so instead, we don't want our tape to go up and down and only touch one popsicle stick. We want our tape to touch all of the popsicle sticks. And we're going to be putting two pieces, one towards the top and one towards the bottom. So two pieces. So let's go ahead and pull off a piece of our tape. So remember, this part can be a little bit tricky. So this might be the one where you need a little bit of help to get this tape to be unstuck from the rest of the tape on the roll. So pull and peel off a piece that is about as big as our popsicle puzzle. So about that big. And then we're going to rip tape. You could also cut it if that's easier with some scissors. And then with two hands, you're going to hold it. So you can think you can see in the light better this way. You're going to hold it sticky side down with your fingers on each end. And then we're going to go, let's do the top piece first. We're going to push it straight down onto our popsicle sticks so that remember it goes across all of the pieces. So we don't want to put our, our tape this way or it's up and down, we want it to go side to side. So we're gonna put it on the top part of our rectangle and I'll push you down so you can see. So we're gonna go for this top part and I'm gonna try to make it so it touches all of my popsicle sticks. And push it down. There we go. And now, this part won't come apart. And now we just need to do that one more time for our bottom section. And if, you, if you've if you made your tape just a little bit too small and it's only touching some of your popsicle sticks and not all of them, then you can go back and take another piece of tape and put it on the popsicle sticks that your tape didn't get to touch. So let's go ahead and do our second piece of tape. So we're going to rip a piece that's about as big as our popsicle sticks wide, our cool shape square that we made. We're going to rip it and we're going to put it on the bottom piece. So let me push you down so you can see the bottom half of our square. And while we do this, I'm going to tell you a funny joke. Okay, what, when you, um, when do you go at red and stop at green. So take a minute to think about that one. See if you can think of the answer for the joke. When do you go at red and stop at green? Because normally when you see a red stop sign, you stop and green you go. But this joke is asking the opposite. When do you go at red and stop at green? All right, and I'm gonna push this down with my fingers, that tape. 
And let's show you in the better light so you can see. So once I pick up my square popsicle sticks, I've got, I can move them around and they're still all stuck together in my square shape. So this tape is touching all of my popsicle stick pieces. Okay, are you ready for the answer to the joke? When you're eating a watermelon, because you go and eat, eat, eat when you're at the red and you stop when you get to the green part, the rind, because that part's not good to eat. So I thought that was a pretty funny watermelon joke. Do you have any great watermelon jokes or maybe a joke about fruit? I would love to hear it. Make sure you put it down in the comments so that I can laugh at your silly jokes. All right, so now that we've got our awesome square that's not going anywhere because we taped it together, we're ready to start our painting and to paint our beautiful, yummy watermelon onto our puzzle. So one thing I like to do before I get started with painting is either put down some newspaper or some paper towels just so that the paint, if I get it somewhere that's not on the popsicle sticks, it's no big deal because we can just throw away the paper towels or the newspaper. And also, even though this paint is washable, I think it's a great idea to wear a t-shirt that you don't mind getting um, a little bit dirty if you get some paint on it. It's no big deal. So maybe an old t-shirt that you don't mind if it gets a little finger paint on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put down some of our newspaper or paper towels on our table. Just gonna spread it out right in front of me. And that way, if I get paint anywhere, it will be no big deal. One more step before we get to our painting is that we are going to grab our pen and write some numbers. So if you're not quite to writing numbers yet, you could always get a little bit more help from your mom or dad or brother or sister that's older uh, that can write numbers and then you can help count out the numbers so they know which ones to write. So this is a little trick. In case we have trouble putting our puzzle together at the end, once it's all finished and we mix up the pieces and we put them back together, this is a great trick so that then you can turn over to the back and touch the number one to the number two. So let's go ahead and use our pen and we're going to write numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six on our popsicle sticks. And so we wanna make sure that we're doing one for each popsicle stick instead of all six numbers on one popsicle stick. So let's go ahead and count out our numbers and write them. All right, so the first one is going to be number one. Here we go, we've got our one. And now, what's next? A two. And then what comes number three. There's my three. And what comes after three? Four. Here we go, four. And then five. There's my five. And last, what comes after five? Six. There we go. Perfect. So now if we have a little trouble putting them together, we'll be able to do our puzzle by the numbers on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it down on my newspaper or if you've got paper towel down to keep everything neat, that's great too. And let's grab our paper plate or if you have anything else to put your paint in, that's perfect. And we're going to take our colors that we picked out, the red or pink, the black and the green, and we're going to put some on our paper plate so that we can dip our fingers in and get started with the fun part of painting. So let's, if you have little bottles like these, it's always good to shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, like you're doing a, a dance with maracas, or making your arms really strong, make your muscles. And then one more. Okay, and then we are going to pour out about as much as uh, the size of a golf ball, so about this big of a circle of paint onto your paper plate. much and then same with the green there we go and then 
the black we won't need as much because we're just doing those little black seeds. So just a little tiny bit of um, black about the size of a grape. Okay, so pour my black over here. There we go. So just the size of a grape. Perfect. Now we're ready to get started. So I mentioned at the beginning that I'm going to be doing finger painting because I think it's so much fun. But if you have a brush that you want to use, that is perfect too. Or if you don't have any paint at all, you can always use some markers. Let's put on some music for us while we do this. All right. So let's go ahead and dip our finger into the green. And what we're going to do first is make the rhyme for our popsicle, or for, I said popsicle, popsicle stick puzzle for our watermelon. So what does that green look like to you? Can you think of anything that the green line looks like? I think it looks like a happy face. So if you make a happy face and you draw a happy face, it's kind of that curved line. It goes up at both ends. So I thought we could make a nice big happy face in green on our popsicle sticks to make our watermelon rhyme. So let's go ahead and dip our finger into the green. And before we get started, I'm going to let you know that you can make your popsicle stick puzzle. You can do the happy face with your popsicle sticks up and down. So you could do your happy face like this, or you could turn your popsicle sticks this way, and then you would do your happy face this way. So that is up to you, whichever way that you want to do it. I did this one when I practiced earlier. I made this one with my popsicle sticks going across. So it looks like they're sleeping in a bed. But I think for the one that I'm doing today, I'm going to try so that they're standing up. So you choose which way you want your popsicle sticks to stand before we start with making our happy face in green to make our watermelon rhyme. Okay, so let's go ahead and push our finger into the paint, or if you've got a paintbrush, that works too. All right, I've got my green ready. And I'm gonna see if I can do this. So you'll have yours on the table. I'm gonna see if I can do it this way so that you can see in the light a little bit better. So kind of think about where you want that smiley face to be. And then go ahead and make your green smiley face. And then you might have to dip your finger back into the paint a few times to get more when you kind of see that the green doesn't show up as well. Then it's time for some more paint. Right. I'm gonna go across it one more time just to make sure the green shows up really well. Perfect, does it look like a happy face? Does yours look like a happy face? That means you did a great watermelon rhyme. I guess we could always make next time a happy face puzzle, couldn't we? All right. Now, since we've got so much green paint and we're not using green right now, for our next step, we're gonna take those paper towels and go ahead and wipe that finger off of all the green paint. So that way it doesn't mix with our next color. Fingers pretty clean. I'm ready to go for my red. So this is, or you could be using pink. This is the main part of the watermelon, the juicy, juicy part that we love to eat in the summertime. This is so delicious. So what we're going to be doing is making a straight line from this end of the happy face that we drew in green all the way to the other side of the happy face. So we're just gonna be doing a straight line with our finger all the way across, like that. And then afterwards, we'll fill in all of the space from our line 
down to the green and we'll make the rest red or pink. So let's go ahead and do that step. So let's pick our finger and dip it into the red. And so remember, you'll be having yours down on the table and I'm just picking it up so that you can see it a little bit better in the light. Because it's a little bit tricky to have your puzzle facing outwards. So let's take our finger and we're going to make that straight line that goes from the top of our happy face green to the other side of our happy face green. So just like that. Okay, you ready? All right. There we go. I've got a line connecting the green happy face to the other side of the green happy face. And now it's time to fill in all of the space between the green line and the red line with red so that we can fill in our watermelon. So I'm going to dip our finger back in and let's go ahead and fill it in. And while we do, I'm going to tell you another joke. Why did the cantaloupe jump into the pool? So you think about that one for a minute. Let's see if you can figure out the joke. So a cantaloupe is another type of melon, a type of fruit that you can eat. So why would another type of melon want to go into the pool where it's wet? I love jokes. So if you have any good jokes, you definitely have to let me know in the comments. All right, so we'll finish filling this in and then I'll tell you the answer. All right. So you could do circles if you wanted, like this, with your finger, or you could just do straight lines back and forth, or up and down. Totally your choice, whatever you want your watermelon to be like, I think I'm going to do circles because it's just fun to squiggle around in the paint. All right, what do we think? Looking good? Looks like a delicious watermelon I would very much like to eat if it was real. Okay, so why did the cantaloupe jump into the pool? because it wanted to be a watermelon. Isn't that silly? Because it's another type of melon and if it gets wet, then it would be a watermelon instead of the cantaloupe melon. I thought that was another silly watermelon jokes. I bet you have some better jokes though. Okay. Here we go. Next, we are going to, same as last time, clean off this finger with our paper towel so that we can get all of the red off. And we're on to making our black dots for seeds. So some people like seeds in their watermelon. Some people try to buy them without the seeds, but I think having seeds in it is kind of fun. Have you ever done a seed spitting contest to see how far you can spit the watermelon seeds? That is so fun. How far do you think you could spit watermelon seeds if you tried? Do you think it would be hmm, as long as our puzzle or longer? Maybe even as long as a car? Okay, so let's go ahead and dip our finger. I actually like to dip my pinky finger sometimes in for this one because I want my watermelon seeds to be really small and since that finger is the smallest I'm gonna dip this finger in instead of the finger that I was using before so the pointer finger this time I'm gonna use the pinky finger okay so I'm gonna dip my pinky finger into the black color and then I'm just going to dot it on so it's almost like making a fingerprint onto 
your red part of your watermelon. And you can make as many seeds or as few as you want. So you could do 20 seeds, you could do two seeds. It's totally up to you how many seeds you want your watermelon to have. I kind of just do them, space them out. So instead of thinking about a number, I just try to make them so that there's some all across my watermelon. Okay, so I'm going to just press my finger right into that red part of the watermelon. And there we go, my first watermelon seed. Now I'm going to do one at the bottom of my watermelon. And next on this side of the watermelon. Now I think I'll need one closer to the middle. And one kind of close to the top. Hmm. Think I should do any more watermelon seeds? I think I'm gonna do one more watermelon seed. I think this part of the watermelon is looking a little lonely, so I'm gonna add a little watermelon seed. There we go, can you count how many watermelon seeds I did? Six watermelon seeds. How many watermelon seeds did you make on your watermelon? Was it more than the six I made or less? Okay, now I'm going to take my finger and wipe it off. So now we have made our watermelon on our popsicle stick puzzle. And we could be done if we wanted. If you wanted to let this dry, then you could have this as your puzzle and be finished. But I thought it would be fun to decorate the rest of our popsicle sticks that are um, plain and just wooden because I thought always I just love color so I like to add a little more color to my popsicle stick puzzle so you can see here I did some blue sky I did a yellow sun and I used the green we've already got out to make some grass so I want you to be really creative and you can do anything that you want on your popsicle stick puzzle you could do the whole background purple or you could do a picnic blanket or maybe some ants coming to eat your watermelon so you do anything you want be super creative with your puzzle because i know that you have great ideas and you are super unique just like what's going to end up on your puzzle so if you want to get some extra colors out you could also use markers if you don't have any more colors for your um a paint or you could use the colors we've already done. You could do a red picnic blanket and the black ants, or you could do the green grass. So anything that you'd like to do. So I'm gonna get a few more colors out. I can find where I put the rest of my paint. I just had it when I, oh, silly me. I was using it to hold up my popsicle uh, stick puzzle before when we were painting. I think I'm going to do a sky with white clouds, an orange sun, and some blue sky. But like I said, I want you to decorate whatever you want on yours. So I'll be talking you through how I do mine but you can choose to do something totally different than what I'm doing. So let's do our shake up the colors dance. Shake, 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 shake. And we're going to pour out, so about, um, about a golf ball. If you're using a lot of the color, about a golf ball size, and just a little bit of color, then you're gonna do about a grape size onto your paper plate. Green, make sure you put the top, or blue, make sure you put your top back on. And then we got our orange from the sun. So that one I won't need very much, so I'll just do a, a great size. And then my white, I'll probably do about a great size too. Okay. to first 
first color my whole all of the space I'm going to do blue so all of my empty space I'm going to color blue and just to make it a little bit easier I'm gonna put it down and push the computer down so you can see I know the lights not quite as good that way but since I'm just doing uh, I'll put a white paper towel behind it so maybe that will make it show up just a touch better There you go. Hopefully that you can see just a little bit better. And let's see. Let's see where you can see best. So I'm just going to be dipping my finger into my blue paint and coloring all of the space that is not where the watermelon is with my blue. And I'm excited to see what you're going to do on your background of your puzzle. So ready? We're just going to color it in so you can use any finger you want and you can do lines back and forth or you can do squiggly circles i like the squiggly circle technique myself i've done half of it now i'm going to do the top for my sky But maybe you wanted a sky that has, maybe it is at sunset. So it's got purples and pinks or oranges in it. I love a good sunset. Do you guys like to watch the sunset? It's so fun to watch the sky change colors. Or maybe your watermelon is out in a starry night sky. So maybe you have a black background because it's nighttime and you've got some yellow stars or a big white moon, that could be pretty cool. Have you ever eaten watermelon at night? That sounds fun. All right, so I'm just filling in a couple spaces, making sure I got all the spots that I wanna get covered up before I move on to my son. Okay, since I'm moving on to a new color and I've got blue still on my finger, I'm going to grab my paper towel and wipe it off. I'm making quite the interesting painting on my paper towel, huh? It's like a tie-dye almost. Happy accident. Okay, now I'm going to do a sun. And I like to do for my sun, you can see with this one, kind of a circle and then lines coming out of my circle. So I'm going to dip my finger into the orange and I'm going to do a big sun. So a big orange circle. I would so love to see what you're doing on your background of your watermelon and how many popsicle or how many watermelon seeds you put in your watermelon. So I would love it if when we're all finished, you could take a picture of how yours turned out and then you could put it in the comments or tag, get your play online so I can check it out and see how unique and creative yours is, just like you. Okay, so I've got my circle. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use my pinky to make smaller lines. I know this is really tough to see because the sun is doing some weird stuff back there going behind the clouds. So I'll, let me try it this way again. So you can see a little bit better. Okay. It's hard to hold it when it's wet. Okay, so I'm going to grab my orange and do those lines sticking out all around my sun. There we go, we have a sunny day. And last but not least, I'm going to be doing some clouds. So some nice white fluffy clouds. So grab that paper towel, 
get off all the colors you aren't using anymore. And that was a little bit tough to hold because it was so wet. So I'm going to, even though I know it's tough to see because it gets kind of cloudy down there. So I'm just making kind of circles that have look kind of fluffy, just like clouds. So dip my finger into the white. And next to my sun, I'm doing circles that have kind of curvy edges on them. I'm gonna do, I think, three clouds. One, two, and one more. This one's gonna come right up and live near the sun. There we go. And you get one more paper towel. Wipe off my hands really good so I can show you how mine turned out once it was all done. Wipe off my hands really good so I can pick it up. And I'm going to pick up. And so a great, we can always put your, once you've finished, painting your puzzle is put it on a paper towel to dry. So this is what mine looks like when I'm all done painting it. And I'm going to put it aside and we're going to let it dry for about 15 minutes. And since we don't have time to let ours dry all together, I'll show you what to do once it's finished drying. I put those hands really good. And I'm going to grab the one that I made before that's already dry. So you can see with this puzzle that I made before, it's nice and dry already. So what you're gonna do in about 15 minutes is you're gonna take your finger and you're going to touch on your painting. And if when you pick up your finger, there's no paint that came off, that means it's dry and you're ready to go to actually doing the puzzle part. What well, we worked so hard to make this beautiful watermelon, now it's time to have fun with it and do our puzzle. So you're gonna turn around your popsicle stick puzzle and we're going to peel off all of the tape that we put on before to hold it together in our square shape. Now we don't want it to be a square anymore. We just want it to be all of the popsicle sticks pieces apart. And you can just throw that tape away when you're done with it. Kind of fun to peel paint or peel tape off. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix up all our pieces. Mix them up, mix them up, mix them up, and drop them, smush them around. And I'm going to put this away so you can see a little bit better on the white. Okay, so we're going to put them down. And we're going to have them with all of the color side up. And then we'll just mix them. Just mix them out. Okay, now let's see if we can put take back together our watermelon popsicle stick puzzle and see if we can make our watermelon picture form again. Because right now I can't really see a watermelon in these pieces, can you? So let's see if we can put together our beautiful painting that we worked so hard on. Okay. So I know that this is the bottom piece because I can see some of the grass I did at the bottom and also the very bottom of my happy face green rind of my watermelon. So I know that's my bottom piece. So I'm going to put it down here. Hmm. Can you think what piece might be next? Let's try. Does this one fit? Hmm. What do you think? That one fit together? No. How about this one? Nope, because this one has my sun, so that must go towards the top. Let's try this one. Does it go together? Oh, perfect match. We just got two of our puzzle pieces. Perfect. We're so smart. Okay, now let's see if we can figure out what the third piece is. So we already figured out this one's probably at the top because it has our sun on it. So, oh, we have three whole watermelon pieces. Hmm, which one is it? Let's try this one. Hmm. So that one's not it. Doesn't fit together quite right. See how the greens don't line up? Let's 
try this one. Oh, I think that's a match. Here we go. We got three of our puzzle pieces together because you see how the greens, the greens line up now. Perfect. We've got three pieces. Let's figure out our fourth piece. So I think this one is next and then this one goes on top. What do you think? See how my greens line up? Perfect. So these go to finish my watermelon. And then I've just got one more that I know is at the top because I had my beautiful sun. And I finished my puzzle. Let's see if I can pick it up. It's going to be hard to pick up to show you. Very cool. So then you can mix it all up and try it again. And one of the great things is if you flip them over, if you're ever having trouble and you just really can't figure out which puzzle piece comes next, you can always flip over the back of your puzzle pieces. And remember, we wrote those numbers on them. So you can always fit the numbers together. So one, we could line up number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, Number six. So that's the second way to do it if you ever get a little bit stuck with your puzzle. All right, let's put our puzzle together one more time before we go. Let's see, so this one goes at the bottom. We already found that one out because the grass. And the blue with the sun goes at the top, I know that. Now I've got those, this is the tricky part, the watermelon pieces. So let's try different ones and see where the green fits. So that one doesn't quite fit the greens. This one's perfect. And this one comes next. Now which of those two pieces do you think is next? I think this one isn't yet because it's got the blue at the top. So that must be the top of white watermelon. So we'll try this piece. Oh. We got our next puzzle piece. And now we just have one more left in the middle. To put it down. Perfect. I put together my puzzle again. That was so much fun. All right, I had so much fun making these awesome popsicle stick puzzles with you together, especially because it had watermelon and it's summer and I thought that was so much fun to make. And the great thing about these popsicle stick puzzles is now that you know how to make it, you can put anything on it that you want. So you might make an actual popsicle drawing on yours next, or you could just be creative and draw anything that you want. Maybe you could write your name on it, or you could draw a happy face, like we talked about with the green happy face that we made earlier. So I can't wait to hear what you've done next in making another popsicle stick puzzle piece. If you do another one, definitely make sure to tell me in the comments what you might make next time. Maybe you could give one to a friend or for your mom for a present. That would be super cool too. I hope you enjoyed making these with me today and had a lot of fun getting a little bit messy with our fingers. And don't forget, if you've got any good jokes, I definitely want to hear them, okay? All right, well, I will see you next time for Arts and Crafts. Remember, every Sunday at one, we will have super fun Arts and Crafts for you to follow along with um, on Get Your Play Online. So I hope to see you next time. Bye, friends.